Good afternoon and welcome to Disney Springs. We're here today to complete our full tour of Disney Springs. We've done three of the four districts so far. We'll put some links in the description down below so you guys can watch those videos from the other districts if you haven't seen them yet. We're here today to do the Marketplace, the fourth and final district in Disney Springs. So let's head on down and get exploring. So here we are over by Paddlefish. And if you guys remember, Paddlefish is part of the landing area of Disney Springs. And that was the last video that we did. Love Pop is not, but these other two kiosks over here are part of the landing. Love Pop is part of the marketplace, which is the video we're doing today. And for those of you guys wondering what Love Pop is, it is kind of like fancy pop-up cards. So like there's a pop-up Elsa, got a pop-up Mickey Mouse, pop-up Dumbo, pop-up mini cake. Look at this Nightmare Before Christmas one. It looks complex. Oh, I like the bear one too, he's fun. From Love Pop, we're going to head in this direction. Like I said, these two kiosks are not part of the marketplace, which is where we're headed, but T-Rex Cafe is. So as we head into T-Rex Cafe, I wanted to show you guys the menu real quick. There's a pretty bad glare on this, so we're gonna try our best. You guys hear that in the background? There's a volcano going off at Rainforest Cafe, which is also part of the marketplace. We'll be visiting there a little bit later. Let's head inside T-Rex and see what it looks like on the inside. Lots and lots of prehistoric decorations all around, including dinosaurs. There is also a Build-A-Dino experience in here, much like the Build-A-Bear experiences that you guys have seen around malls all over. But instead of bears, they're dinosaurs. Well, this one looks like a sloth that's wearing a pumpkin. Kind of love that. Ooh, this dinosaur looks kind of angry. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly, perfect. And there are multiple different scenes depending on where you're sat in the restaurant. Like there's an ice cave back there, another T-Rex, and then this is an underwater section. Oh no, he didn't like me talking about him. If you have family members that are fans of dinosaurs, I think that they would have a super fun time inside of T-Rex Cafe. Look. You could sit inside of a Triceratops. This entire section over here, all these booths, they look like they're part of the Triceratops here. Look at how secluded this is. That's nice. The Kitchen of Fire. There's just fire out in front of it. Doesn't really make sense next to the ice cave now, does it? These baby woolly mammoths are my favorite. So I think luckily for us, I think that the first two spots that we stopped are gonna be the most confusing as far as wayfinding goes because they're kind of off on their own. And as we turn left from T-Rex, that's Uniqlo, which we already went to, but we are gonna kind of head around here and go into the Lego store and there's the Daily Poutine over there. We're gonna go do some exploring in this way and then we're just gonna make a gigantic circle around all of this, back around to here. So from T-Rex Cafe, this is Uniqlo right here. We're going to turn and right across the way here in this blue building is the Lego store. And there are multiple entrances and there are entrances that have signs we're just going in kind of one of the back entrances so you guys can see what is inside of the Lego store. It's a Lego Darth Vader and he's like, Luke, I am your Lego. So here's something that is new here. This is the Lego minifigure factory. And this is brand new, never done it. It's $11.99. And then you can go in and design your own minifigure and then you build it. So you gotta buy it first and then you personalize it, then you accessorize, and then you collect it. And then they have examples here of all of the different articles of clothing that your minifigure can wear. Oh, and then they have emoji graphics that you can put on them. How much fun is that? I love Orlando. They have a minifigure printer in here that prints the shirt designs on your minifigure. Oh, well, there it goes, it's doing its thing. That's pretty neat. And they've got all kinds of different feet and headwear and heads that you can use. And so you basically just build a minifigure and then you do a customized shirt on it. Also all around the Lego store, they have all kinds of different figures made out of Lego 
There's Ray and BB-8 right there. This is the entrance to the Lego store that we went into and we are turning to our right and you guys can see over here there's Volcom and Harley Davidson which was part of the last tour that we did but we are going to be making our way just around the side of the Lego building. So a little bit of wayfinding. This is Uniqlo. This roof right here belongs to the Lego store and we're having a look at the Daily Poutine Gourmet Frites. See what they, ooh, they've got some Arendelle Aqua Punch. Fancy. Whoa, look at it. It looks awesome. Well, let's have a look and see what they have on their menu. So if you guys don't know what poutine is, it's basically french fries, beef poutine gravy, and cheddar curds. That's the classic. But they have a bunch of other different kinds here. Latin, French, and Italian. As well as beverages, fireball sangria, from watermelon lemonade. From the Daily Poutine, we are turning to our right, and this is the biggest store in Disney Springs. This is World of Disney, and I believe this is the biggest World of Disney in the world. There are multiple entrances to the World of Disney. We are just going into this one because it kind of fits with continuity. So, Daily Poutine, Lego store here, and going into World of Disney. Before we go in, I did just want to point out that there are restrooms and an ATM outside of this entrance to World of Disney. So this is the entrance that we're going into. Ah yes, happy Halloween. Tis the season to be jolly. So World of Disney is massive and separated into a bunch of different sections. But the basic idea of World of Disney is if you're looking for anything Disney, you're almost guaranteed to be able to find it in this store in some fashion. Back outside from the World of Disney and we are making a left-hand turn in this direction. This is all still World of Disney but I just wanted to kind of give you guys some wayfinding points as to where we were. So as you can see, we've made it completely around the Lego store and the world of Disney is over here on our right. And the world of Disney continues for a very long time on this side. So at a different entrance to world of Disney, the one that we went into is just around the corner over there. As we turn to our left, there is a Starbucks right in the middle of the world of Disney. And as you can see, world of Disney continues on the other side of it. One thing that's interesting about this Starbucks is they always have fun drinks that they make up here. And it's only at this location. So take for instance, right now, they've got the Franken frap which is green tea with peppermint java chips white mocha and mocha drizzle as well as the floating berry refresher green ghost tea ooh mummy frappuccino you won't find those at any other starbucks just at this one from the starbucks we are continuing our way around world of disney still world of disney all the way down there to the giant spitting stitch which oh yeah he definitely still spits because there's a giant puddle underneath him. So World of Disney started all the way down there at the end and we've made our way all the way around this entire block is all World of Disney. And then down here in between in this little alleyway is the Four Rivers Cantina. And Four Rivers is our favorite barbecue joint in town and this is kind of like their barbecue Mexican food truck here in Disney Springs. And here's a look at their menu. Back here at the front of World of Disney, and before we continue on our tour, I did want to turn back in this direction towards the Lego store and show you guys all the offerings on this side of this block. We have an outdoor cart where you can get beer and cocktails and popcorn and Mickey Premium Bars, as well as Oogie Boogie Popcorn Buckets. These are really neat. I think they glow in the dark too? Maybe. Don't quote me on that one. Also right behind the cocktail cart is some outdoor seating and then to the left, we've got Sunshine Churros, where you can get all kinds of different flavored churros. Look, they have Fruity Pebble Churros. Is that this? It just looks sparkly. Wow. From Sunshine Churros, as we turn to our left, there are some Disney Springs pressed pennies. Looks like we got Lilo and Stitch. We got Mickey and Pluto. We got Donald wearing Mickey ears. And then we got the friends from Pooh Corner, all available right here. 51 cents a piece. It's still the old fashioned kind that you gotta crank. Then right next to that, there is a stage. They have a lot of different events that happen here. Sometimes they got bands from high schools that play out here. Sometimes they have professional acts. Sometimes they just have dance parties over here. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose stage. For example, tonight is Acoustic Edge. So these guys are gonna be playing here on this stage tonight. And as we continue to turn from the stage, we've got a Wetzel's Pretzels, where you can get pretzels, pretzel dogs, sinful cinnamon, Wetzel bits, frozen lemonade, and of course, right now, because it's fall, 
you can get a slice of pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice caramel dip for your pumpkin spice pretzels. Right next to Wetzel's Pretzels is a Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company smoothie stand. I don't think they have actual coffee here, but they have a lot of smoothies. Which actually sort of makes sense. Oh no, they do. They have a little bit of coffee here. But it's sort of funny because they're basically right across from the Starbucks right there. Speaking of Starbucks, right in between Starbucks and the Joffrey smoothie stand, there's another cocktail stand or cocktail cart. And that brings us right back to World of Disney. So we are going to head back over to the other end of the block that is World of Disney and start back up over here at the Four Rivers food truck and heading over to Basin. Before we head into Basin, I did go a little bit past Basin because I wanted to show you guys this Mickey fountain out here. Also, this is the valet stand and where Mirrors or Checkered Cab would pick you up from. I don't think that Uber will pick you up here. So Basin is basically like bath things, bath bombs, soaps, hello. Various things like that that you would use in a bathtub. Some bath salts. And then they also have soaps that are themed to Disney. There's a Mickey soap here. Ooh, there's a couple of Mickey soaps. And gift sets, as well as hydrators, pumice stones, and body butter. From Basin, kind of tucked away to the left over here, there's an Arabas Brothers hand-cut crystal store. They definitely have a lot of interesting things in here. Crystals and glass and other little trinkets like that. Like you can get one of these glass skulls. They also have jewelry and tiaras. This guy is making glass here in the store. He's making little glass trinkets. I wonder what he's making right now. Well, now we know. He told me that he's working on Remy. He's going to be making a glass Remy. And you can kind of see there's a cheese and olive here too. That's going to go with Remy. They even have a section of Swarovski stuff. Like take for instance, if you wanted to pay $29,000 for a crystal encrusted Darth Vader, this is the store for you. Oh no, it's me. I'm Darth Vader. From Arabus Brothers, we're turning in this direction. They have a kiosk here or like a cart where you can get silhouette portraits cut. One day we need to do this because I think it's really neat that they do that. We're definitely going to bring our baby here and have one done for him one day. From the silhouette portraits you can see here's Ghirardelli. And pro tip, they give you out a free square of chocolate when you go in here. At least they do occasionally. Sometimes they don't give it out but I think right now they are. Let's find out. You can buy just about any kind of Ghirardelli chocolate in here that you can imagine. We did it, they gave me a milk chocolate caramel square. You can also get hot chocolates in here, brownies, coffees, all kinds of other fun things. But this side is mostly drinks. There is another side that has ice cream. So this side of the Ghirardelli store is mostly the retail store where you would just buy bars of chocolate. You can get hot chocolate in there, but right next door, they have the Ghirardelli soda fountain where you can get Ice cream sundaes. This is the kind of stuff you can get here. Some shakes, chocolate baked goods, beverages, ice cream, treats, and various other Ghirardelli concoctions. Lots and lots of seating area over here for Ghirardelli soda fountain. And then as we turn to our left, we come to a Disney Photo Pass location and a face painting booth where you can get henna tattoos or have your face painted. They have lots of different options for getting your face painted too. Like you could be this guy and you have a, just like a snake around your face or you could be a pirate. But the thing that we're really here to see is the photo pass spot. And a little fun fact, there are some phones over here. They're not pay phones anymore. They're just free local phones that you can use to call, I don't know, a local phone number. Here inside the Disney Photo Pass studio, not only is there a little step and repeat outside, but this is actually connected to the Erebus Brothers store right through there. This is a PhotoPass studio, so if you have an annual pass that includes PhotoPass, or if you've bought the PhotoPass for your vacation, you can come and do a free photo shoot over here, or you can buy Memory Maker or any PhotoPass item over here, or you can view your different PhotoPass photos and have them printed out in a keepsake frame. So from the PhotoPass studio and the face painting area, we're going over to the co-op and the co-op is interesting because it's kind of a bunch of different stores all in one location. So we've got 28 Main, Centerpiece, Cherry Tree Lane, Disney Tales, D-Tech On Demand, and Wonderground Studios. 
So let's go inside and have a look and see what kind of things are available in each of those different stores. So you can see how it's kind of set up. It's almost like a flea market where there's different booths. Here's 28 in Main, there's Centerpiece, Cherry Tree Lane, Straight Back, Wonderground Gallery, Disney Tales, and DTech On Demand over here. And just to give you guys an idea of what is in each, 28 in Main is kind of like a men's store where you can get all kinds of different men's merchandise. It used to be more fancy stuff, like this sort of golf attire and button-down shirts, but they've sort of moved into just general men's clothes. But there are a few things in here that you can't find other places. Real quick, before we go into Centerpiece, I did want to show you that this store also connects to the PhotoPass Studio, but Centerpiece is home goods. And right now they are celebrating Halloween so the majority of the stuff that you'll see in here is going to be Halloween. Actually, it kind of looks like everything in here is Halloween. Eh, Christmas Halloween ornaments. But yeah, lots and lots of Halloween home goods in here right now. And then into Cherry Tree Lane, and this is the dress shop. The dress shop on Cherry Tree Lane. And this is where you will find all of these different dress shop dresses. So like this one looks like Red from Pirates of the Caribbean. This one's Sally. This one is Hocus Pocus. Basically just like a lot of pinup style dresses. A lot of things that somebody might wear to Dapper Day. I like this Dooney and Burke. This one's fun. I want to dress like Mickey. Wonderground Gallery is an art store where you can buy all kinds of different art prints that are themed to Disney. This one is Jared Mariama. And all this whole section here is Jared Moriyama. Actually, both sections are. They do have other artists, like this one is from Kristen Tersek. Before we go any further, I did want to show you guys that they have a couple of booths set up in the center here where you can make your own candles, or just buy pre-made candles, or buy scented diffusers. Also in the co-op is Disney Tales, where you can buy any sort of merchandise that you can imagine for your dog that is a Disney fan. Here's some Star Wars dog biscuits or you could get rose gold mini ears for your chihuahua and it might be a little bit big for your chihuahua maybe for your golden retriever and then dtech on demand is where you can print out customized magic bands and phone cases take for instance if you wanted a pua phone case you could have one printed here or if you wanted your own custom magic band you could also have that printed here so now when i say magic bands I mean, they are just personalized magic bands. Oh, look, you can add like emojis to them. You can get this different parks ones here. Like, what is this? I want to do Typhoon Lagoon. Can I do Typhoon Lagoon? Oh no, there's Illumination still. What if I want Epcot forever? Okay, so here's Haunted Mansion. I pick Haunted Mansion and then I can add my name to it. And then I say Tim. And then it has, and then they print it out here. But. If you add your name, you do lose a little bit of the design. If you can see here, this one doesn't have a name, but this one does, and you lose that design when you add your name. And then they, of course, have all kinds of different phone cases that you can do. You can add specialty cases with a 3D effect, or you can get this, and then you can add your name to it. Tim, this is my phone. But they also just sell pre-made Disney phone cases. Lots and lots of Disney phone cases. And they do have the new iPhone 11 phone cases available too. Before I leave, I did want to show you guys that they had other things other than the iPhone. Like this is a whole section of Samsungs, but it seems like they just have iPhone and Samsungs. So I don't know if they have any other kinds of cases. Back out at the front entrance of the co-op, as we turn to our left, we come to a Disney Vacation Club kiosk where they will sell you a Disney Vacation Club, which is sort of like a timeshare, but only with Disney properties. And then next to that is Trendy. And Trendy is, I don't even know how to describe it, like Trendy Disney merchandise. So take for instance, they've got all the Arendelle Aqua stuff, and they have all of these windbreakers over here which I thought would have been a lot more popular, but I haven't really seen them around. I'm trying to show you guys one of them, but they're in there very tightly. But then they also have just kind of like fashionable Disney clothes. And inside of Trendy, I have found stuff that I haven't seen anywhere else in Walt Disney World. Like take for instance, this mini sweatshirt or long sleeve shirt, never seen it before. 
or either one of these 1971 shirts or this Mickey Mouse one. Never seen them anywhere. How much is this? It's kind of nice. $64.99. I also wanted to point out that everything is connected. So that right there is Disney Tales. And if we were to continue through there, we would be in the PhotoPass studio and then into the Crystal store. And then Trendy puts us at the end of the block here. And just down this little alleyway is a restroom. Now we want to turn around and cover the other side of the block starting with the Disney pin trading store. So in the Disney pin trading store, you can buy lots and lots of different style pins and magic bands. They also have a little section out here where they're trading pins. And I think if you ask inside, they have a giant book that you can flip through and trade with them inside as well, which I think we did in a pin trading video. We'll put a link to that in the description down below. Well, we got some Christmas magic bands out. By the way, they've started displaying magic bands differently now. This is the old way of displaying them, the new way of displaying them. And then they also have a press penny machine in here with the Incredibles on it. Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, and Dash. Oh, they kind of have a lot of press penny machines in here, as well as a lot of pins. They also have a lot of pop figurines in here, and this is where you would come to get any sort of special limited release pop figures in Disney Springs. Look at that, they have the new D.O. droid. And it's a bobblehead. Right next to the pin trading store, there is a little train here that kids can ride on. I don't know if I could fit in it. I feel like I did ride it one time and it was very uncomfortable. There are the prices in hours, $3 for one token, $5 for two tokens, one token per rider. Adults can ride, but only two adults per ride when the train is going. From the train, I'm gonna go over here to this Pearl Factory because I feel like it's not really in the block, but it's kind of in a weird spot that it would be between two blocks. So this is Hawaii's original Pearl and the Oyster Pearl Factory where I believe you get to pick an oyster and they crack it open and you see what kind of pearl is inside or you can just buy pearl jewelry pre-made. From the Pearl Factory, we are turning to Dockside Margaritas they got some outdoor seating. There's a guy playing guitar out here and it's an outdoor bar that sells margaritas. Let's see what they've got on the menu for Dockside Margaritas. This also gives you an idea of the prices too. Habanero Lime Margarita, whoa. And then of course, regular old margaritas, beers, and non-alcoholic beverages. So I thought this might be a little bit confusing. So Dockside Margaritas is down there, the oyster place is over there, and then right up here in between Dockside Margaritas and the co-op is actually behind me, is Marketplace Snacks. And here you can get a Dole Whip or a Dole Whip float, or loaded nachos, or just a couple of different drinks here. You can just get a pineapple juice. That sounds delicious. From Marketplace Snacks, the last thing on this block that we haven't seen yet is just a Disney Rewards Visa card from Chase Stand where you can sign up to get a Disney Visa card. And that brings us back over to Ghirardelli. So that was this block of stores and stands. And now to continue the tour, we're back here at Trendy and we're turning past these bathrooms down the alley here. And we're going over to Once Upon a Toy, a gigantic toy store in Disney Springs. So inside of Once Upon a Toy, just lots and lots of toys. Right now it's kind of focused on Toy Story and Pixar stuff. Look at that, there's Woody up in the ceiling up there. And this store actually used to be a lot bigger, but they closed off half of it to make way for the void, which we're gonna go see next. So I said they focused on Pixar and Toy Story. That's just the overwhelming feeling that I got when I walked in, but they do have other toys from other Disney franchises. There's also Disney themed games and Disney themed puzzles in here. From Once Upon a Toy, we turn to our left and we see The Void. And The Void is actually one of my favorite places at Disney Springs. We've been a couple of times. We haven't really been able to film very much inside of it, but we have described what it is. It's like a virtual reality that also includes physical aspects. So when there's fire in there, you feel heat, you get a little blaster so you can shoot things. They've got two different games in here right now. They've got Star Wars and they've got Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph breaks the internet. And you can kind of see some video of what happens in there. So this is a video of Ralph breaks the internet. And these are actual scenes that you would see in your virtual reality goggles. 
as you're playing the game. From the void, as we turn more to our left, come up to the Disney Springs location of Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, where kids can come and get full Disney makeovers, look like a princess or look like a knight. So here are some examples of the outfits that you can buy when you're getting your makeover here at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. They range from fairly simple to extremely intricate, you could be Vampirina. And that brings us to the end of this block. There is a walkway that takes you over top of the roadway over to area hotels. And then over here, it's kind of like a multi-purpose area. Because it's coming up on Christmas, this is going to be the Christmas tree trail, which if you're looking for something fun and free to do around the holidays, I highly recommend the Christmas tree trail because it doesn't cost any money. It's free to park at Disney Springs. This is lots of fun music back there. You can meet Santa. You can look at Christmas trees that are all themed to different Disney characters. And we've done this multiple times. And we'll put some links in the description down below to those videos. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys over here is there's a little splash pad type fountain that's in the shape of Mickey. I don't know if you guys can make out the Mickey shape at this point, but you can kind of see it there. There's his ears. And right across from that is Earl of Sandwich. Each of the fountain holes is also a Mickey. The best part of Earl of Sandwich? They've got outdoor seating, and right on the table, they have a special seat just for me. Let's have a look at the menu for Earl of Sandwich. Lots of hoagies. What time is, is it breakfast any? Oh, until 11 a.m. I thought breakfast was any time. There's the holiday turkey. It's like Thanksgiving on a roll. Pizza bread, ooh, that sounds good. Other than that, Earl of Sandwich is just kind of like a quick service sub shop. Just as a wayfinding pan. Oh, also there's another ice cream stand where you can get waters and ice cream and churros and pretzels outside of Once Upon a Toy. And just a, like a wayfinding pan, you got the void over there, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, Christmas Tree Trail, Earl of Sandwich, and then we're headed in this direction over to Mickey's Pantry. Mickey's Pantry is home goods, just like a larger store for home goods. Not only do they have home goods, but they have a spice and tea exchange where you can get different spices and teas by the pound. Got a few little odds and ends as far as snacks in here, but for the most part, home goods. What is this? Is that a coffee mug? That's gigantic. They also have Disney-themed wines from the company Once Upon a Vine. From Mickey's Pantry, as we turn in this direction, we have a Wolfgang Puck Express. Not to be confused with Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. I've never actually eaten here before. Let's see what they've got on the menu. Looks like we've got some pizzas, breakfast. You just get half a rotisserie chicken. Bacon wrapped meatloaf. Wow, this sounds really good. I didn't even know that this was what kind of food they served back here. I thought it was just like sandwiches. And so you can see the sandwiches are a very small portion of the menu. Here's a look inside of Wolfgang Puck Express. Open kitchen, very nice. There is also some outdoor seating back behind Wolfgang Pucks. Hopefully some of these things that we show you guys in this video can help you guys out. Like the fact that there are a couple of water fountains back here on the backside of Mickey's Pantry near the outdoor seating for Wolfgang Puck Express. From Wolfgang Puck Express, we've got a couple of bathrooms. You got the women's bathroom here and the men's bathroom right here. And then a Christmas store. It's called Disney's Days of Christmas. This is a 365 days of the year Christmas store. So any Disney Christmas themed item that you can imagine, including puppy butts, is here in Days of Christmas. And they even have some Hanukkah stuff as well. Lots and lots and lots of Christmas stuff. And it's a fairly big store too. So the entrance to Days of Christmas that we went into is over there, which is where Mickey's Pantry and Wolfgang Puck Express is. And then we are headed past this entrance to Days of Christmas, down this little alleyway over here. Down this walkway, not only is Days of Christmas still on our right, but this is where you would come into Disney Springs if you took a boat over from say like Saratoga Springs or Port Orleans Riverside. This is the building that Days of Christmas is in. There's a fun photo op out here that's themed to the characters and Christmas. This is the exit to the Christmas tree trail when it's open, it's not open right now. You can see some of the hotels out there on Hotel Plaza Boulevard. That's the walkway that leads to the dock for the boat from Saratoga Springs or even the walkway from Saratoga Springs. There's a bathroom over here. 
And then we're headed into this group of stores, starting with Disney's Wonderful World of Memories. So in here you can get ear hats or hats customized with embroidery, or you can buy all kinds of different hats, different ear headbands, buy keychains, lots and lots of different things. There used to be a custom t-shirt shop back here, but they don't do that anymore. Now it's just all embroidery. And you can get lots of different things embroidered. And from the wonderful world of memories, right next door is the Art of Disney. And this is a shop that sells Disney art. And I think that this art is a little bit more traditional than the gallery that we were looking at earlier. Like this is a Thomas Kincaid. And they have some sketch drawings from Disney animators. And there's actually a person, an animator back there drawing a Mickey Mouse right now. And you can buy their sketches when they're done drawing them. See right there, they're drawing Mickey Mouse. Right next to Art of Disney, a Rainforest Cafe. Very, very similar to T-Rex Cafe, just with a different theme. This one is Wild Animals and the Rainforest. Underneath the giant mushroom is the front entrance to Rainforest Cafe. And there's also a giant volcano that does erupt every once in a while with balls of fire. And then just underneath the volcano, kind of right there, is the Lava Lounge, the outdoor bar which you can also get anything from the full menu at the outdoor bar, usually with little to no weight. Let's have a look at the Rainforest Cafe menu right now. Seafood, American food, well, kind of all kinds of different stuff from all over the place. Let's go inside and have a look around. Of course, you do have to go through the gift shop first. It also does rain right here next to the bar, as you can see it dripping from the ceiling right there. Giant butterflies, and every once in a while, all of the animals in here come to life. I don't know if you would call that a show, but they definitely all get excited and make a lot of noise. So back here at this sign for Rainforest Cafe, Art of Disney is kind of right there. The front entrance is over here, and now we're gonna turn in this direction to continue around this block, heading into Goofy's Candy Company. Real quick wayfinding, that right there is the pin store, so. Let's head into Goofy's Candy Company. As you can tell by the name, it's a candy store. They have bulk candy, where you can buy candy by the pound. So if you wanted just 10 pounds of banana rama candy, you got it. They also sell all kinds of themed candied apples, as well as a few other baked goods. Chocolate covered pineapple. They always sell this at every darn bake store that I've ever been to in Disney, and I've never had one. Should try one one day. They also have all kinds of different snacks that you can get. This cookie looks real good. Drinks. They also have a section where you can create your own treat. So you pick one treat, like a caramel apple, a marshmallow, a gingerbread cookie, or a Rice Krispie treat. You pick what it's dipped in, and then you pick what toppings go on it. You can actually watch them here doing it. Somebody just ordered an apple, a couple of apples. These are all the different toppings and the dips that you can do. This is exciting. One last thing that's available here are called Goofy Glaciers. Kind of like, uh, like frozen concoctions, like Slurpees, slushies. From Goofy's Candy Company, right over here, we've got the Art Corner by Artistic Talent Group. I have never seen this place. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's kind of like a co-op of different artists. So you've got Nameworks over here where they can kind of draw your name. We've got Artistic Marbling where you can marble a scarf and basically you just like drop ink in here and then they put the scarf in and it makes these sort of designs as well as art supplies, digital caricatures or hand-drawn caricatures. From the art corner, before we head to the next shop right here, I do want to point out a few things outside. There is a carousel, and there's a ring carver. Here's the prices for the carousel, and I think these are the same tokens that you would use on the train, and it's all automated. You can just use this kiosk to buy tokens, and then you can use those on the train or on the carousel. Here's the ring carver stand, and the prices for buying a ring that is custom carved over at the art corner we're gonna to turn to the left here and this is the Star Wars trading post a store devoted entirely to Star Wars any sort of Star Wars merchandise that you can imagine 
Well, most of it. There is more in Galaxy's Edge, but this is a pretty good array of Star Wars merchandise. From the Star Wars Trading Post, I come to a kiosk that's called Lefty's The Left Hand Store, where you can get anything that you need if you're left-handed. All kinds of stuff for the left-handed person in your life. Left-handed pen that's easier for people with, that are left-handed to write with. Left-handed scissors, where the blades are actually switched so that you can see what you're cutting. And then left-handed notebooks where the spiral is on the right-hand side. And that brings us back to the pin trading store. And that makes it so that we're at the end of this block with the lefty store. But we do get to travel around this way. Just a little bit more wayfinding for you guys. We're back at the train over here. This is the Pearl store. This is still the Star Wars outpost. And we're making our way around to Happy Hound. A store devoted to all kinds of different things for dogs, like a wiggle butt scarf or collars or squeak toys. As we're looking at happy hounds, you can hear the gentleman singing over there at Dockside Margaritas. And we are turning to face back this way, back at the art corner, which I think this used to be a little mismatched. But now it is the art corner and Goofy's Candy Company right there and Rainforest Cafe straight ahead of us. Off to the side over here is a Duncan yo-yo stand. And Noel said that he was gonna show us some yo-yo tricks. Whoa. Holy cow. It's so fast. Wow, nice. Maybe one day you'll be able to do all kinds of yo-yo tricks just like that. They sell all kinds of different yo-yos over here. And then right next door is a personalized leather store where you can get leather bracelets, leather keychains, all kinds of different leather things personalized. And directly to the right of that, Aristo Crepes. Oh my goodness, it's open. Like, I literally walked over and when I was showing you guys the front of Rainforest Cafe, this was not open. It had to have just opened five minutes ago. Here's a quick look at the menu at Aristo Crepes. You can get crepes, bubble waffles, frozen beverage with alcohol, and delicious beverages. So just as another wayfinding point, I think I'll be able to get everything that's in the marketplace in this one shot. So, Rainforest Cafe at our left, and we are passing our way around Ghirardelli, World of Disney over there, the Lego store and T-Rex Cafe there at the end. We are turning to our right and heading down this bridge to the last two things, maybe last three things on our tour. Over here on the left-hand side of the bridge is Just Plumerias, where you can grow your own Hawaiian flowers. And it says, just sun and sand, no water. Look at this, literally just planted in a bucket of sand. We might have to do this one day. Well, there's one blooming in Long Island, New York. Also part of the Just Plume Areas booth, they've got some hand-painted tiles. These are real interesting looking. And then finishing out our tour, the very last thing that we have to see at Disney Springs is BB Wolf's Sausage Company. This is just a little kiosk booth that sells different kinds of sausages. Ooh, man, some of these look good. Also, they do have plant-based hot dogs. Where is it? Plant-based bratwurst right there. And that brings us back to where we started with the Love Pop booth back there and T-Rex Cafe right there. So there you have it. That was our full and complete tour of everything that is Disney Springs. Of course, since we started, a few things have changed. So we will be out and about still at Disney Springs, kind of looking at the new stuff and exploring some more and eating at some of our favorite restaurants all in all a fantastic trip and a fantastic series so hopefully this helped you guys out navigating disney springs and trying to find a place to eat or shop or anything at disney springs so with that being said we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow my name is amy joe i'm from arkansas and now it's time to pay the price